So Cynthia Decker is asking, this one isn't probably isn't tough, but what is the single most effective thing artists can do online or real life to get their work in front of new people? So what I would say right now internally is uh, contests. So we've got the many chat contest. Um, and I think it's the abstraction of running a contest in general online with Facebook uh, and Instagram. We've got the whole playbook for it, as I mentioned. And uh, that to me, if I were in your, your guys' shoes, would be the thing I would be doing once a month, maybe once a quarter. I don't know exactly what the perfect frequency is on it, but it is such a great like eyeball acquisition, new email acquisition type of strategy, um, getting more people to, to like you on your social posts um, and follow you, getting more people to just everything. It's just every, every time I've seen it done, every time we've, we've ran it ourselves, um, you know, doing case studies, the numbers are just off the chart. So obviously if you have a bigger following and you have more attention already, it's just going to foment more of it. So you're going to be more successful. But if you're, you know, relatively new and starting out, it's a great way to just get people to start sharing because the essence of the contest is to actually get people to share in order to participate in the contest. And so if people are encouraged to share, then more people are going to see your work and so forth. And so the reason that I think the frequency of the contest is a good idea, like if it were me, is because I would do a different image each time and therefore get each image more exposure. And what does it matter if you're giving away a $100, $200, $300 print, right? To them, it's $300. To you, the cost is so low that essentially the cost of the print is buying advertising or buying email addresses, buying attention, right? So it's, it's all a marketing expense at the end of the day, but it's probably the most effective marketing expense that you could do. So I would personally be doing those all the time. I just think that we're in a unique situation where those things are working. At some point, they may not work anymore or, you know, Facebook might shut down the ability to do that type of a tactic, or we might have to come up with a whole new playbook for them. But I think that the contests are the single most effective thing that we are seeing all around. So that's online. Um, in real life, I'm just going to comment on that as well. I think shows doing art fairs is uh, one of the best things that you can do. And I think that, you know, if it were me, I would be looking at if, if you're doing art fairs uh, or art shows and um, and they've worked for you in any way, I would be looking at where else can you do these art fairs? I would drive, I would get in the car, you know, I would be doing a little bit of a tour around your state. Um, if your content is regional, like if you're taking pictures of your city or you're painting pictures of your, uh, uh, doing paintings of your city, then obviously there's a limit to how far you can go out. But um, I would look at whatever your niche is and wherever you can go and see how far you can scale that. So what I, com what I commonly see is I see artists and photographers doing art fairs and they're successful at them, but they never scale it. And maybe part of the reason is because they don't have the funds to scale it, but you got to find a way to scale it, right? So look at what other shows you can do and, uh, and, and use that to grow. Now, the reason that I like that is because Every time you do these art fairs, if, you, if they're working and if you execute the art fair playbook, you're going to get a lot of email addresses in and you're going to get new customers, right? So it's all about seeding your audience and building your audience over time. So you've got them on your email list and you can keep emailing them and then you can get them on your social following. Um, you know, if you email them and you encourage them to like you on your thing, on your, on your Facebook pages, uh, page or your Instagram page. Um, and see like, this is where, you know, going back to the contest when these people are on your, on your email list that were at a show, um, you can email them about the contest and link it to the Facebook page where you're running the contest. And then they have to like your page in order to join the, and drop a comment in order to, to take part in the contest. So you can see how powerful this is, right? You're taking people that you might've met at a show. Now you're getting them online to like you on your, on your social media pages. And now you have multiple ways of getting their attention in the future. So when 
holidays run around or when you release new pieces, this is how you really start expanding and taking advantage of all these investments in these shows. So I think the shows are a very effective tool if they're working for you and if you execute them you know, the right way. If you don't execute them the right way and you are not adding you know, 30, 40, 50 people to your email list when you're doing them, then it's pointless. You know, uh, all this stuff I'm talking about is pointless because you're only as good as your last sale and you never want to be running a business where you're only as good as your last sale, right? That's part of the reason why you guys are here, why you're trying to grow a real valuable business at Art Storefronts is because when you're only selling through galleries and you're selling through other people, you're only as good as your last sale. And so you're never actually building anything of value that you can rely on in the future. You have you don't have your own customer base. You don't have your own list of leads that you can email. You don't have your own social following that you can tap into to come back to your gallery and sell to.